But this is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2018 um, Roller Team Sephiro 685 that has just arrived with us and has covered 7,000 miles. Uh, so the video, uh, people who are um, uh, coming to visit us from some distance away find very useful because it gives us an opportunity to point out any markings or defects to the camper. Um, and uh, gives you obviously some very up close real time footage. Um, in terms of condition, it's exactly as you'd expect it to be for a 2018 to the exterior, and that is uh, unmarked. Uh, I've already obviously been round this with a fine tooth comb and can't find anything on it at all. Uh, this particular model has got the large garage, quite a high end uh, in terms of its build and finish, as you'll see when you get inside. The garage itself has got additional security locks on it, as you can see. Oh, I just locked it as opposed to, there we go. Okay. Uh, plenty of room in there for a scooter. And those straps aren't with it, incidentally. They're actually uh, out of the back of my truck. But the garage, you can see itself, is lovely, as you'd want it to be in terms of condition. Not really had a chance to have much use four piece bike crack, reversing camera, high intensity rear brake light. That's the um, four meter Fiamma awning, F45, which will come out about two and a half meters. And again, this side regarding condition, exactly the same as the other. I'd go as far as to say that's as good as the day it came out of the showroom. Oh. Right, the um, cab area. Okay, so this is running on the uh, Ford Transit turbo diesel. It's got cruise control. It's got a six-speed gearbox. It's got a multifunction steering wheel. It's got air conditioning. Electric window, central locking, all that stuff is standard. It's also got the reversing camera mounted into the rear view mirror. Those are the better cameras. Um, and these drive really well on these new transits. And they really are exceptionally good. And not too many motorhomes are coming through with the transit chassis on them. So then, there we go. Uh, so this sort of lounge area in the Sephiro, as you can see, that table does sort of slides around uh, all over the place if you want it to. Go sort of backwards and forwards, and the two front seats will swivel around to integrate into the lounge, just to give you a much more open area. The little side seat there. Uh, there are twin inertia seat belts on this forward-facing seat, and there's another inertia seat belt on that side-facing seat. The, uh, one of the first beds is this one. So this is electric. There we go. That doesn't like, look like it's even been used. Uh, there will be underneath this mattress, either side there, you can see this sort of netting which comes up, stop anybody from falling out either side of the camper. And uh, obviously this area has got its own lighting and blacks out as well if you want it to. Uh, when I say blackout, it's got a blackout blind on the top of that sunroof and the windows, etc. Back up again, it's pretty effortless. You can leave the bed made up and it just tucks up out of the way. Some nice touches in this camper, they've made the most of. A relatively sort of small area in the galley but uh, it's still it's got an oven it's got a uh, good storage space um, three burner smith gas hob all in very nice condition and then running into the bedroom so better to have a ladder to get up to this bed as opposed to um, so better have to have a ladder. Better to have steps going up into this bed as opposed to a ladder. So you can either use this as two singles, or if you prefer, this area fills in with this cushion here 
and then obviously it just turns it into a double. Very bright, but a wide bed as well. You could sleep transverse on this bed if you wanted to. It's that big. Plenty of room. And then if you want, this door opens and then closes and then makes the bedroom into a confined area. And obviously your uh, tepid toilet on the side. So this is the very, very latest one. They've just changed their design of the toilets, that's all. Slightly for 2018, they changed them. Integrated sink. I don't know where the light switch is. There. That was just a touch screen. It has not even got a switch. It's just a touch, uh, fingertip touch. Uh, and as I said, shower and uh, utilities are all in very nice condition. It's got um, um, the Truma blown air heating will blow into the shower as well. So if it's wet, if you've got the heating on, it'll just dry it, which is quite good. And finally, the large fridge freezer. Big freezer box down the bottom there. There's your control panel. Extremely modern, really nice sort of cosmopolitan feel about this motorhome. And extremely practical, especially with that large garage. So condition internally, uh, can't really fault it. It matches the outside of the motorhome um, as you'd want it to be. So on the whole, these uh, 685 Sephiras, I know they're very popular and uh, there aren't many second-hand ones available. So, um, uh, and this one is no exception to the rule regarding condition. It's not being used for motocross, uh, hence the condition of the garage, because the motorbikes haven't been dragged in and out of it. It's been used as a privately, uh, privately owned motorhome. Okay, that completes Serenity Ledger's video for this 2018 Sephiro 685.